Order. Urgent question. Anna Subri. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To ask the Minister to make a statement on requests by the police for victims of rape to provide their mobile phone and other digital devices. Indeed. Minister Nick Hurd. Uh, Mr Speaker. <laughs> Not now, Mother. Yeah. Uh, there is widespread recognition that uh, disclosure in criminal cases must be improved. This, Mr Speaker, is clearly a complex area, and while disclosure is an important component of the criminal justice system to ensure a fair trial, the police have acknowledged that the use of personal data in criminal investigations is a source of anxiety and will continue to work with victim groups and the Information Commissioner's Office to ensure that their approach to this issue offers the necessary, if difficult, balance between the requirement for reasonable lines of inquiry and the victim's right to privacy. I can assure the House that the Government will continue to work with partners in the criminal justice system to deliver the recommendations in the Attorney-General's review designed to improve the efficiency and effectiveness of disclosure. What you don't do is issue a blanket demand for the handover of mobile phones and other digital devices and then threaten to discontinue cases mm. if a victim, especially a rape victim, then refuses to hand over those devices. So would the Minister answer the following questions? Will he withdraw this document because it is going to deter victims of rape in particular from coming forward? Would he ensure that there is no blanket request of rape victims or indeed any other victim to hand over phones and other digital devices? Instead, will he make sure that any request, in particular, as I say, of victims of rape or other sexual offences, is made only if the investigation has been properly looked at, including the account of the accused, and it is the view of the investigating officer in the case, having considered all the material, that such a request should be made. The document is not a blanket request. Uh, as, as she knows, the, the police, the CPS, uh, proceed on a, on a case-by-case -case basis and, and sit with a heavy responsibility to pursue reasonable lines of inquiry uh, and to make these requests only when they uh, consider uh, it uh, relevant. She we all know, as the Minister has said, that disclosure is a problem. But we also know that there is massive under-reporting of rape yeah, cases. Absolutely. And we also know that one of the problems in these cases is the victim is attacked in court and has self-put on trial. This document, which has been issued today, called Digital Device Extraction, is quite simple. It says, give us all your devices, we will download and review all the material, including deleted material, so that we can give it to the suspect and use it in the that's trial. Amazing. If you read the document, that's what it says. And I do implore the Minister, because I know he is committed to justice for victims as well as justice for defendants, and I totally accept his good faith in this, not to dig in and say that this is a good thing. There is a real problem out there that has been exposed by this, Absolutely. and he really needs to take action on it. Well said. Here, here. That actually the heart of this is a problem of culture uh, in the police and the need for them to take uh, disclosure more seriously and not see it as an administrative bolt-on. And the guidance couldn't uh, uh, be clearer in making it clear that examination of the mobile telephones of complaints is not something that should be pursued as a matter of course and where it is pursued the level of extraction uh, should be proportionate. That is what the guidance uh, makes clear and what we expect the police uh, to follow. She makes very good points uh, uh, around the workings of the courts uh, in this area which I know is a matter of priority for both ministers flanking.